All right, what's going on guys? It's Spencer, I know it's been, I know it's been forever since, I know it's been forever since I've made a video and um, I'm gonna kind of talk about uh, what's going on and um, kind of the stuff that I have uh, prepared going forward because this is actually a super exciting time for me and um, I'm excited to tell you at least what I got coming up. I'll tell you why. There's a reason we drink in that water. Um, I'm running a marathon. That sounds scary for me to say. Granted, I've run 6.2 miles in college and I've run it uh, fairly well. I'm going to talk more about the 10K momentarily here. Um, but that's still scary for me to say considering I've never really even raced a half marathon before I've run a half marathon in terms of doing long runs and stuff like that. But I've never actually like put my nose to the grindstone and ran all out for 13.1 miles and I mean e even with 26.2 yeah there's a pace that I realistically should be able to hit but I've only spent probably in the last like week and a half or so of training but I've only spent 8 to 10 miles a week at or below marathon pace so this is going to be a huge step up for me, but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. I want to recap what's happened since um, I put that indoor season recap out. We had an entire outdoor season, and I'm going to kind of abbreviate all the regular season meets and go to our bigger time events, uh, more specialty events where I sat down and mentally prepared to race 6.2 miles on a track. So we're gonna start at Mount Union where I ran my season opening 10K. In 3246, I actually won that meet and that was the first time I actually ever won and the only time I've ever won a collegiate track and field race. And granted there's only like five or six guys but that's still super cool that I, I won my only collegiate race on a rival school's track. Next time I ran a specialty event was the All Ohio 5K, and that, that didn't go nearly as well as I expected it would. I think I ran in the high 1540s, like 1547. Um, but that didn't shake out too well and from there is pretty much just tuning up for the conference meet and the conference meet came and I was prepared to do any and everything possible to scratch some points across the board for my team and I remember warming up for the 10k on Friday night I had my teammate Andrew asked me Spencer, so what's the strategy tonight? And I told him anything to score, whether that means taking it out super hard and making it super saucy and quick, or whether that's just waiting until two miles and just laying it all out on the line right there. Um, it came out to be well, for what it's worth, going out fairly hard, um, at least for the Ohio Athletic Conference champion, Max Hoffman. At the time, I believe that was his PR when he won the Ohio Athletic Conference 10K. And that, that was huge. And I knew since I stuck myself in that lead pack that we were going to go out and... Um, I had a chance. So I roll through 5K in 1605. 
Now, do the math, that's 32 10 pace. And I was still in that group, and there was about 10 or 12 of us. And I'm like, okay, I got a really good chance. I went through three miles in 15.25, and, and I was still in the top five, and that's when, I, like, that's when I knew I was on for something really special. I started uh, having some difficulty and harder times when we got down to about two miles to go. I remember I was still in that chase pack of about uh, six or seven guys, and I, I was sitting in the last spot to score, which is eighth place. I was sitting pretty much with a target on my back, but not dead in the water. Um, and I remember uh, Coach Eby, my coach, my distance coach, asking me the question, how bad do you want this? And I remember at that point, I let a gap form uh, between me and the eighth place guy. I was getting past for ninth place and there was a guy that I held at bay and then the guy in front was a guy I'm still really good friends with and a guy we recruited heavily but he ended up choosing Mount over us and I remember that question being asked when he went by and I went and got him and that's that was the point of the race where I absolutely started pouring it on people like I'm never forget I'm never gonna forget this feeling of just absolutely pouring it on these guys the last two miles I ended up beating them by 17 30 and like 45 seconds or something like that so I completely just bridged the gap and absolutely broke the string on those guys and I kept catching people and the guy in front of me with three laps to go was a guy from Otterbein and I, I was about I was about to catch him too and it was a nice gust of wind it was a very windy day at the conference track meet and I got blown out in the lane too and that pretty much dashed any of my hopes of catching him but I was pretty much secured sixth place which is three points and that was three big points for the weekend and then I came back in the 5k and still ran a very respectable 1553 after running 3218 so that takes me to the Harrison Dillard meet and within that time I took my finals I officially graduated from Baldwin Wallace University and now comes the Dillard Twilight meet 5K is the last event of the night, and the same kind of thing happens. We go out and we're averaging about 305 or 306 per K, uh, per kilometer, that is. And we're pretty much uh, riding that red line, running that needle right up to 1530 pace. And I started falling off with about 600 meters to go. I was off the group by about 10 yards. And my coach asked me the same question that he asked me at conference, except the wording was changed. How bad do you want to go to North Central? Which was going to be where I run, or possibly was going to run my final 10K. So I knew I had the, my work cut out for me. And then I went and got some guys with 200 meters to go. I still had some work to do. Uh, my teammate Isaac was clear of me by about 10 or f not even 10 maybe five meters and I had to throw it down one more time I had to find that final gear and I went and got him squeaked in under 1530 for the only time in my college career 1529 was my finishing time and I ended up racing at North Central now like I said North Central was my last college race so there is a lot of emotion going into this one and I remember just trying to put it aside and going out and racing. I actually ended up 
racing a guy from Marquette the whole way. Um, me and this guy from Marquette, um, after we broke from the group at about two miles, we traded blows for four, four miles and some change. Now the guy's a steepler by trade. And I just remember just every time he went in front, he went in front for 200 and then I had to take the lead for 200 and we just kept flip-flopping for over 200 meters um, or over 400 meters every 200 meters for 4.2 miles. And my guess is we were running about 76 high, 77 flat. And when it came down to it, I was flat out of gas with about a mile to go. But I still ran a huge PR and a negative split of 16.05, again, 16.05, in 1556, which comes out to 32.01, which is my final college track PR. So that brings me to about a month or so, probably it was like three and a half, three weeks after the fact, where I just kind of been running kind of aimlessly and I, kind of, I didn't know what I really wanted to do. So I kind of impulsively and jokingly signed up for the American Electric Power Columbus 10K and jokingly filled out the elite ap athlete form. And what do you know, my track PRs got me in. And I thought I was going into this alone. Thank the Lord I had Max Hoffman, the OAC champion, and Ian Kellogg. Guys I've become really good friends with over the past year and a half that I've been racing them. And um, that was a huge help. And that is where I finally broke 32 for the first time. And I ran 31.57. And I'll be throwing up pictures and videos throughout this to uh, kind of illustrate the journey of where I'm at now. And that brought me to the point where I went and talked to my college coach, Coach E.B., and thankfully he agreed to coach me to my first full marathon back in Columbus this October. And that leads me to sitting in front of the camera talking to you right now. Now, obviously it's early stages of marathon training, and I'm not really sure where this is going to go or how this is going to go, but I'm excited. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm racing the Medina Twin Sizzler on July the 4th. I'm racing the 10K, which has a 9 a.m. start time. So that's gonna be my first race of this buildup. Um, I plan on having workout videos every now and then, every, every time I can get at least someone to film. Um, but that's my plan going forward. And like I said, I'm super excited, super nervous, because I've never raced a half or even raced a full. I've raced half of a half marathon and a quarter of the marathon distance. Now, I do get better as the races progress to longer distances. So hopefully that translates well. But a lot of other things are happening behind the scenes. I revamped my website, which I'm going to link down below in the description from now on. And you can visit that. I'm going to be writing a weekly training vlog to update you guys, at least from my vantage point, um, if I'm not making workout videos, to at least give you guys a perspective of my entire week's worth of training. And I'm going to map it out Sunday to Saturday, or Monday to Sunday, however uh, the format will go. I'm going to map it out as such and I'm excited to share everything that I know and hopefully since the OAC 10k is online I can at least commentate bits and pieces of this race for you because I want to tell you exactly what I was thinking throughout the race. But that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'm going to be having 
videos pop up on either side of me right now. Um, two videos I've recently made. My website link, like I said, down in the description below. Instagram, Twitter, also down below in the description. You can follow me there and you can follow along closer to my marathon journey on Instagram because that is where I post most of my content. And again, thanks so much guys for watching. Deuces, see you soon.